Hey guys, so it is many, many days later. So basically, oh my god, my cat's gonna go for my camera strap. Basically, I haven't updated in a long time. And I have all this reading vlog footage from like the end of June, like almost going into July. Mostly just the end of June, so I thought I'd compile it all together. This is just my little intro, Julia, from the future here to say, yes, this vlog is kind of a mess. But there is a fun haul in it. And there's not much reading happening except for a little there's only a little bit of reading happening hi <laughs> hey guys it's julia welcome to another reading vlog is this even focused i don't know it's been a day but so apparently i'm starting a reading vlog on friday because I feel like it. Cool. Um, I have an exam on Tuesday, so there's not much reading happening. But I am listening to the audiobook of <laughs> The Virgin Suicide, surprise, surprise, the book I've read like six times. Um, I'm listening to the audiobook of that and I'm about halfway through. So I'm really enjoying like listening to that because all the times I've reread it, I've always reread it physically. I've never like listened to an audiobook or anything or like had a different reading experience. So I've been liking doing that. So I've been just, just kind of slowly doing that but that's an update for reading um thank you guys so much for all your feedback on my last um my, the reading vlog i did for cramathon it was you all were super sweet and like i was like so like i was reading the comments and i was like smiling and stuff like it was the sweetest thing ever and i'm like thank you for being so nice to me <laughs> this vlog off with a bam we got a book outlet over in the mail so we're gonna unbox this oh if you're like why did you what was the meaning of the purchase if there has to be a meaning um stress and i'm like you know what i deserve books <laughs> apparently that was my thought process so i ordered stuff and i haven't ordered stuff from there for, for a while so i'm very excited it's up here i got the lion game by ruth ware thriller all i know i should like i'm gonna like marathon this chick's books Tell a lie, stick to your story, and never get caught. On a cold June morning, a woman is walking her dog. Okay, great. Okay. Before she can stop him, the dog turns into the water to perceive what first appears to be a wayward stick, but to her, it turns out to be something much more sinister. Oh my god, is it like an arm? Fun? Something comes out of the ocean. Cool. I have her, her other book. I have two of her other books. The Death of Westaway, Mrs. Westaway, and then the Cabin 10. One. But I have this one too sweet i also have the way i used to be by i don't know because there's a target sticker on it i'm confused we don't have target anymore but okay um i believe this one does have some trigger warnings for sexual assault so just a mention of that but i've heard really good things about it so i'm interested to pick it up i got another thriller so i got good me bad me by ali land i feel like i've heard of this from someone it's a thriller <laughs> how far does this does the apple really far from the tree? Millie's mother is a serial killer. Though Millie loves her mother, the only way to make her stop is to turn her into the police. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, thriller. Fun. I don't know. <laughs> I also have The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. The second book to this came out like a little while ago and I've heard decent things about this one and I've always wanted to pick it up, pick it up cause it sounds really interesting like a building with like a thousand floors and like the higher you are the farther you fall. I don't know. It sounds interesting. Let me know if you've heard anything good about that. I also got Foolish Hearts by Emma Mills. I own two of her other books and I am now own a third and this is a pretty recent release as well so I was gonna buy it anyways. Now I have it and I got it for a good price so when Claudia accidentally eavesdrops on the epic okay me um breakup great thrown against her will Ooh, a midsummer's night dream friendship romance expanding your horizons fun exciting the chaos of standing still by jessica brody i believe this is a christmas book and i think Haley in bookland read it a little while ago and she said it was really good that says she liked it for like a christmas book so i was like okay <laughs> Then, this one was like one of the main reasons why I ordered it. But like you guys know I love the one and only Ivan. And then I really liked, Cren like I enjoyed Crenshaw as well. But I really, really liked this author's work. So I ended up buying Wish Tree by Catherine Applegate. And this is like the same author as those other books. And she just writes really like 
meaningful like middle grade books that I really enjoy that are always super light but have like really important underlying themes. So I'm excited to give this one a read. It's like the main <laughs> reason why I ordered from it. Oh, there's leaves on the front. That's cute. Um, but yes, I'm hoping to read this one. An oak tree. Write their wishes on a piece of cloth and tie them to red's branches along with a crow named Bongo. Like, it just sounds cute. Trees can't tell jokes. They can certainly tell stories. I don't know. It just seems cute. I'm excited to read it. Middle grade. I think it'll be pretty good. Next, I got Violent Ends. And this is by a bunch of authors, but I know it's also like Sean David Hutchinson is like the reason why I bought it. Uh, Kenard Blake too. Yes. Sorry. I like her a lot. Um, but this is 17 points of view and I believe it's about a school shooting and the 17 points of view from that. Yeah. It only took 22 minutes for to exit his car. Yeah. I believe this is it. Every child is told from a different point of view. Yeah. So it kind of has like that similar concept to this is where it ends. So yeah. I've heard it's good. Plus Sean David Hutchinson's great. So why not? So those were the books that I bought. Apparently. I only, I didn't spend that much money. That's why I love about Book Outlet. Because they're cheap. And they always get them super fast. Also, they like send me emails when like it arrives. So if like I'm not home and the package comes and like, I don't know. Like the, the, I just get an email and I'm like, yeah, it's great service. Thank you for letting me know. But like, look at this. Lovely. This made my day. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon, hopefully, the reading update. <laughs> hey guys, so it is Saturday and it is about 9 a.m. now. I updated you what, yesterday? I think so. <laughs> I think so. That's my stomach. Okay. Um, so today is going to be a busy day. I got some like YouTube stuff done this morning. So like I did, I planned a bunch of videos and I did some business emails. So I'm really happy with that. I'm like, we got this. Yes. Um, I'm just gonna film later because I'm going to a wedding tonight so I'm probably gonna film before I go because my makeup's gonna be all nice and you know it's perfect to film when you already got a full face makeup on and all that so that's what's happening last yesterday I did finish the audiobook of the virgin suicides and oh my god this reading experience was so special for me and like I've read this book so many times now but like read like I really liked having it in a different format because like I've never had access to the audiobook like it was never on overdrive and it was never like it was never on overdrive and like I couldn't find it anywhere and then like Scribd has it so I'm like yes and I just loved it so much and yeah the story means so much to me and I'm so glad that I reread it again because I enjoyed it so much did this little poetry collection scribbed again they have the ebooks and i started smoke and mirrors it's by this dude michael something and i read his other collection a while back and i really didn't like it this one i was like okay it's new hi mom hi you're interrupting my vlog sorry okay <laughs> this one i'm like it's new it's fine like it'll be good i really didn't like it again <laughs> I gave that one like two stars it his poetry just doesn't work with me like this one had some nice lines in it like I was pretty happy like there was some beautiful poems in here but it's also like erotic poetry so like soon as it which like I don't mind but like that's my cat um soon as you start giving these beautiful poems and beautiful lines that have to do with like sex and then you add something super blunt at the end and like super graphic at the end but blunt that doesn't go with the rest of the poem it just ruins it for me and i'm like this is like not fun to read like hello um like it'd be like a beautiful poem then at the end it'd be like just something super blunt and i'm like okay <laughs> moving on next i don't know what i'm gonna read next i'm probably gonna start another audiobook maybe i don't know um i have leo on the offbeat and it's like i reread simon just so i could read leah but like i haven't even touched leah on the offbeat um right he's playing with his toy um rudy rudy where's your ball sweetie He's over it. He's tired. Hello? He's done. 
Aww. He's tired. So it is much later. I am all ready for the wedding. Um, this is so shaky. Um, so yeah, I got my makeup all done. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I kind of like it. I kind of date. The lashes are a little wonky. They probably are going to malfunction. But, oh wow, I look like I'm just blonde here. Okay, whatever. Um, so, there, I don't have a reading update. But I just have a general update that I got ready. I did my makeup. I, I've accomplished something. No, I'm kidding. I did a lot of stuff this morning. But I'm going to film because I got my makeup done. So I think I'm going to film the mid-year book freakout tag. Or I might film the booktube watching tag. I don't know. I have them both planned. So I'm like, <laughs> whatever works. It's just whatever it is I got to clean up before I go. So it's like 30 books on my floor versus none. But my makeup's nice. So I should film like the mid-year book freakout tag because like that's gonna get well one that's probably gonna be watched more and it's like a video that you'd look back on more than like a random tag I don't know it's up for debate we'll see what happens so it is Tuesday so it's been a few days I didn't vlog because I wasn't reading anything and then I was stressed about my exam but I just did my exam this morning and it's finally summer for me so I'm very happy about that so probably gonna go out today, might start a book today. But yes, just wanted to update you guys. Look at our lovely, horrible fucking what? Whatever that is. Shit factory, too far. Okay. In the last clip, we went to a used bookstore in St. Catharines and it was really fun. I really liked that place and I didn't did I find anything? I don't think I found anything this time. Actually, I did. I found a pop-up version of The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. <laughs> so I found that. But yeah, it's a really nice used bookstore. So that's going to complete this vlog. It's very short and kind of sporadic. I apologize, but I thought you guys would still somewhat enjoy it. So I hope to have more of these up soon. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you super soon. Bye. Oh yeah, if you made it to the end of this vlog, comment. And strawberry. Yeah, a strawberry. Okay. <laughs>